three. 11 2 and 2 versus 11 and 4. A very st strange matchup for the pairings, to say the least. Yeah. Um, of note, though, we're in the post board games. So from Will, we have options of Fulminator Mage, Kitchen Finks, Kozilek's Return, Collective Brutality, Chandra, Knight of Souls Betrayal. Do you like any of those? Uh, Brutality is quite good if you. If the, Grixis, if the Grixis player is leaving their Delvers in, which you almost have to when you have Young Pyromancer when you're playing that build, Brutality becomes very good against the deck. This is a two Pyromancer build. Jim Davis is just playing the Kevin, his teammate Kevin Jones's list. Yep. Fulminator Mage can be quite effective. The deck is pretty light on lands. It's not really trying to draw a ton of lands either. Kitchen Finks demands a Mana Leak or a two-for-one uh, in many situations. So Jim has Young Pyromancer, Snapcaster Mage, Delver of Secrets. Is Knight of Souls Betrayal a thing here? If you can resolve it, yeah, absolutely. I suppose. It's a four-mana non-creature spell. All of, that's, There's a risk. Now, something I'm curious about, there are three Ley le le Line of the Void in Will's sideboard. Oh, those are good here? If you have them on turn zero, they're great. All right. Because you can't activate, you can never get cards in your graveyard to Delver Tassiger. So you just have this six man of four or five in your deck all of a sudden. Will Pulliam is going to take a mulligan. Uh, looking at Jim's sideboard, he has some big go big cards. I'm looking at things like Painful Truths, which I, th I think would be great here. Yeah, Painful Truths is quite powerful. Um, the matchup is all about value. It's one of those cards that once you're behind Liliana, you can use that to draw into your Snapcaster Mage, your Lightning Bolts, your Colagon's commands, and claw your way out with that. So that one should for sure be coming in. Looks like we have Jim on the play for game three. Will has kept on six, scrying a Terminate to the top. And here we go. Getaxi and Probe will show what Will's hand is. We have four lands, Thoughtseize, Dark Confidant. That's a pretty Jun thing to do. This hand is extremely beatable for Grixis Delver if Jim's hand is functional. Dark Confidant is covered in many ways, particularly on the play. Right. So Jim would like to have a Thoughtseize prove double answer to Confidant, so right. it can't be Thoughtseize. Which is pretty easy to do. It, it, the deck's mostly removal. You see a draw of Young Pyromancer for Davis. He has, yeah, Spell Snare Lightning Bolt in hand. All right. Looks like just one land. If that's true, I would definitely lead on his Serum Visions here. You need to find a second land to play this game. And you are right. He's going to lead on Delver of Secrets, however. If I'm Will, I'm thought season that, that serum visions. visions. I'm getting that out. I am trying to teach Jim a lesson for making that play. Jim does get a copy of uh, Steam Vents. So you can so you see here, okay, yeah, double serum visions. visions, Serum Visions, Lightning Bolt, Pyromancer, Spell Snare. Even with double visions, I would have cast the hit, first hit, one. Hit your land drops. Yeah. He'll still be able to deal with Dark Confidant, but what happens you know, when Will starts drawing spells? Uh, Jim's just, he's going to blind flip the, Del the Delver, then... Serum Visions into a land and play it, and it's going to be great. <laughs> and then we'll say, wow, well, looks like Delver was obviously right. Yeah, I mean, hindsight is 50-50. You're either right or you weren't. What does Will select? He's got a Terminate in his hand. His hand is Dark Confidant, Terminate, and Lands. If there were only one Serum Visions, you'd definitely take it. Right. At two... So this hand only has one answer to Termagoyf, and that's Spell Snare. Uh, the, dark, the Young Pyromancer, I like this pick as well, because it's the only other threat in the hand. Jim reveals tar Terminate to flip Delver. Okay. Right. Now, no land, though. Do you go for the Serum Visions here? Uh, you have bolts to clean up the Dark you know, Confidant. If it, yeah. Will needs to draw Tarmogoyf, and you know, he has Terminate so, anyway, if that's what happens. So, Ryan, I was telling you, what Jim should do is flip his Delver off at the top spell, then cast Serum Visions and draw a land. Yeah. Well, okay. Jim knew that that, that was the line. That's exactly what he's going to do. If you're that lucky, why even play Serum Visions? Just draw the card you want. If you're that lucky, I feel like Grixis Delver probably shouldn't be your deck. Yeah, play a combo deck, Jim. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? <laughs> He's going to play Scalding Tarn. We go back to Will Pulliam. So Jim now covered in many ways against that Dark Confidant. He's got a Lightning Bolt. He's got a Spell Snare. He's got a Terminate. And Will needs an answer to this Delver. Well, he's got a Terminate, but Jim has Spell Snare. Yep. So Dark Confidant will be the play. What's the So Will, Jim gets to pick how he wants to answer it here. Right. Um... He did, he did draw the Terminate, so he has answers to Tarmogoyf. I would rather preserve Spell Snare, though, because you can Spell Snare Tarmogoyf, then you have an answer to some other creature down the road in the form of the Terminate. 
Yeah, do you think you might even spell snare or terminate if, if they tried to kill your Delver? I would not fight that battle. You never protect your Delvers? Almost never. Jund is so redundant in ways to kill. Now, Jim has seen Will's hand, so he knows that he has to top deck all of that stuff. Yeah. Jim bolts, he does the right th that play, he bolts away the Dark Confidant. Now, of note here, Jim's actually down to 12. He uh, has fetched shocked twice and probed once, so that's eight damage. He's actually losing the damage race at the moment. Yeah, and that's the thing about Grixis Delver, particularly once you start playing Gita Gitaxian Probe, you're gonna beat yourself up a little bit. This matchup doesn't especially punish him, it would take a lot of red spells. <laughs> so I suppose he has more <laughs> in these painful truths, huh? Woo! All right, it draws painful truths. This is how, how hard can we hit ourselves? Delver will even, or rather, Insectile Aberration will even up the life totals at 12. Now, Jim found Blood Crypt here, which does make his mana kind of awkward. It makes it really difficult to yeah. Seer Envisions and do anything with blue spells. Cast Seer Envisions, he draws Dark Slick Shore. God, he's so good. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Will's gonna watch this tape and just be like, oh my, it's just. Just gonna get. I would get furious watching it. <laughs> ever, he drew all those. I ever told you a story of how lucky Jim Davis is? Scries to the bottom off the, off that serum visions. And Will Pulliam is gonna go ahead and fetch for a basic forest. Twelve, twelve are the life totals. Liliana would be mighty scary here. Well, Jim's hand, actually, you're right. It's, uh, he's got a Terminate and a Spell Snare. If, if this is just Liliana minus two... Okay, Scavenging Ooze. That's less scary and yeah. gonna... This which, one is which answer, actually? in multiple ways. Um, we're getting to the point now with the Delver beating down William on 11 where the Spell Snare on Terminate starts to become a line you're more interested in. So I like conserving the Spell Snare now. Jim does that. He goes ahead and terminates away the Scavenging Ooze, draws a Mountain for the turn. Oh, and now we three. can Painful Truce with Spell Snare back up. How convenient. Yeah, things are, yeah. Well, that's why we play these cards. <laughs> I mean, I expected Jim to tap out for the Painful Truth and then draw the untapped land. Yeah. Just like, just like draw the basic island. <laughs> just be like, oh, hey, that, that's good here. I'll play that. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jim tapping down to just Dark, Lick, Dark Slick Shores to cast the Painful Truth. One black? Uh, there's nothing you can really do with one black. Maybe he's, if he draws Tassiger, he'd like to cast that. He um, draws three. That get, makes sense. Gets doesn't, a Gitaxian Probe Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, it doesn't really need the Lightning Bolt here. So it does make sense. And Tassiger would insulate him against Liliana of the Veil. Yeah, that's pretty solid. A draw for Will Pulliam, and he is flush on lands. It looks like he's got Terminate and lands left. Jim holding up that Spell Snare. He is not going to let Insectile Aberration go. You know, I gen let's see, Kitchen Finks is the play for Will. Uh, yeah, Jim can't answer that. Not, I mean, not cleanly. He doesn't have the counter spell. Right. So and Will just had one green source in place. We added a shock to cast that to wasn't able to actually gain any life. Jim will end step Thought Scour. That was one of his draws. And then he draws his second copy of Snapcaster Mage off the mm -hmm. Thought Scour. And he has Lightning Bolt in his graveyard. Those Snapcaster Mages are very threatening with Will at eight. Well, once you hit four lands, drawing Snapcaster Mages is just about where you want to be. I mean, it's the best card in the deck. It's not particularly close. Well, not on turn two. I don't want him in my opener. It's, uh, it's a lot worse on turn two. You're not wrong. Jim's hand just shaping up. It is land five, spell snare, Gitaxian probe, and two snapcasters. I that is such a wall of cards. Now that he's gotten to this Ugh. point, this this hand is very difficult to beat on any semblance of parity. This is the kind of hand that you can even Beats recover. Everything. You can recover from Liliana with this hand. Snapcaster Mage is really good in that position as well. Jim Davis, look, is it going to work? Both Ba and Davis going to make it to the top eight. It's looking like it. It's gotta gotta bring this one home. He'll fetch down to eight. I guess he's got to be careful about his life totals. One of the ways he could lose is if Will is secretly just sitting on some lightning bolts. That would be a problem. Maybe he does. He like will pay mana for the probe or just not do it at all. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to use a blue to cast a taxi and probe. Respect lightning bolts. Terminate and land. Yeah, paying life with for probe there would be extremely greedy. Draws another land. That's fine. His hand is made. Will goes to five. Yeah, I suppose bolts snap. There's one bolt in his graveyard. He can snap cast that. And ambush Viper, the other snap caster. Will is hard pressed to make it. 
to make it through Jim's next turn. Yeah. We'll see if we can do it though. Will Pulliam draw there. It is another land. Another land. That's not going to play. Uh, Kitchen Finks, they swing. Will both players go to five? They will. Jim will join him. Says go. End step here, Snapcaster. He's going to Snapcast the Bolt. That means he loses his Delver, but uh, that, that's fine. The Snapcaster's lethal on its own with this Lightning Bolt. Will's at five, going to two off the Bolt. Untap. So like, Jim going to send it home. Actually, oh well, okay, Jim's going to counter it, but Will could do something like terminate his own kitchen things to gain some life and block. But Jim spell snares the terminate for good measure, and with that game win, it is Jim Davis Grixis Delver taking the deck to the top eight. A big congratulations for our reigning players champion.